Hello everyone, and welcome to my show. I'm the Empath, and this is a new segment on my channel. You could call it Theological Thursday, because it would like be a Thursday video if I actually managed to stick to the schedule that I would have for myself. But I think I'm just going to call this segment Biblical Babble. Um, so my intention, um, as I have stated uh, previously, I don't know if I stated it on here, I stated it on my last channel, but I wanted my thing for the, um, the st since the start of the new year for, you know, the video that would go between Happy Wheels and whatever horror game I was playing at the time, I wanted to read some scripture. And so we're going to try that today. We're going to see, you know, about getting through a chapter or two, and then based on that, we'll see how that goes for how much I will read per, you know, per session, I guess you could say, per video, however you want to put it. So, best place to start is at the very beginning with uh, the Old Testament, which would start with Genesis chapter 1. Um, and I'll, I'll read the titles that um, the Bible that I have is in. Actually, let me let me talk a little bit about the Bible that I've got. So I've got the Good News Bible. If you're into the King James Version, then maybe after I read through all of the Good News Bible on here, then I'll go through King James. And I wouldn't mind that. I mean, just take, taking time out of my day to read some scripture, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, unless it's some sort of messed up, twisted version of it, then you're not really reading scripture, you're reading some psychopath. Anyway, um, so yeah, and then, so this has, th this is written a bit more commonly understandable, because um, I know that King James has a lot of these, thous, thys, thus is blah, blah, blah. Um, so this, this should be fairly easy to understand, and um, I'm just going to read the scripture, not any of the introduction things, but um, I will read the various chapter titles that they give, like um, Story of Creation, Garden of Eden, things like that. Um, but I'm babbling enough, so let's actually start in with Genesis chapter 1, the story of creation. In the beginning, when God created the universe, the earth was formless and desolate. The raging ocean that covered everything was engulfed in total darkness, and the power of God was moving over the water. Then God commanded, uh, commanded, Let there be light, and light appeared. God was pleased with what he saw. Then he separated the light from the darkness, and he renamed the light day and the darkness night. Evening passed and morning came. That was the first day. Then God commanded, Let there be a dome to divide the water, and to keep it in two separate places. And it was done. So God made a dome, and it separated the water under it from the water above it. He named the dome Sky. Evening passed, and morning came. That was the second day. Then God commanded, Let the water below the sky come together in one place, so that the land will appear. And it was done. He named the land Earth, and the water which had come together he named Sea, and God was pleased with what he saw. Then he commanded, Let the earth produce all kinds of plants, those that bear grain and those that bear fruit, and it was done. So the earth produced all kinds of plants, and God was pleased with what he saw. Evening passed and morning came, that was the third day. Then God commanded, Let the, uh, uh, <clears throat> Let lights appear in the sky to separate day from night, and to show the time when days, years, and religious festivals begin. They will shine in the sky to give light to the earth, and it was done. So God made the two larger lights, the sun to rule over the day, and the moon to rule over the night. He also made the stars. He placed the lights in the sky to shine on the earth, to rule over the day and the night, and to separate light from the darkness. And God was pleased with what he saw. Evening passed, and morning came. That was the fourth day. Then God commanded, Let the water be filled with many kinds of living beings, and let the air be filled with birds. 
So God created the great sea monsters, all kinds of creatures that live in the water, and all kinds of birds. And God was pleased with what he saw. He blessed them all and told the creatures that... Uh, uh, and told the creatures that live in the water to reproduce and to fill the sea. And he told the birds to increase in number. Evening passed and morning came. That was the fifth day. Then God commanded, Let the earth produce all kinds of animal life, domestic and wild, large and small. And it was done. So God made them all, and he was pleased with what he saw. Then God said, And now we will make human beings. They will be like us and resemble us. They will have power over the fish, the birds, and all animals, domestic and wild, large and small. So God created human beings, making them to be like himself. He created them, male and female, blessed them, and said, Have many children, so that your descendants will live all over the earth and bring it under their control. I am putting you in charge of the fish the birds, and all the wild animals. I have provided all kinds of grain and all kinds of fruit for you to eat. But for all the wild animals and for all the birds, I have provided grass and leafy plants for food. And it was done. God looked at everything he had made, and he was very pleased. Evening passed and morning came. That was the sixth day. So that's the first chapter of the Bible. The very thing it opens up with is, you know, all these, you know, sun, moon, sky, plants, animals, fish, and apparently my cat pawing at my door. Here. Um, anyway, um, so, yeah, um, what I'm also going to do, aside from just plain reading the scripture, come on, Nick, is, uh, at the end of each chapter, um, or after something that I feel is kind of important, I will uh, let you know, um, I'll, I'll kind of go over, just sum it up, what it's saying. But um, some of the things that it, there that are said, I won't need much ex explanation time for. I mean, it kind of just said what happened. He created the separated light from darkness, sky from sea, you know, just all of that. So basically it's just talking about God creating everything. Um... And, yeah, that's the first chapter. And that only took about four minutes, so um, I'll probably do about a 20-minute video, give or take, and do as many chapters as I can in that time. So probably get to about four or five chapters if I don't have to do a terrible amount of explanation. So, yeah. Um, and if you have any sort of comments or anything like that about what's being read, then let me know. Um, but for now, let's continue reading into Genesis chapter 2. And so the whole universe was completed. By the seventh day, God finished what he had been doing and stopped working. He blessed the seventh day and set it apart as a special day, because by that day he had completed his creation and stopped working. And that is how the universe was created. The Garden of Eden when the Lord God made the universe, there were no plants on the earth, and no seeds had sprouted, because he had not sent any rain, and there was no one to cultivate the land. But water would come up from beneath the surface and water the ground. Then the Lord God took some soil from the ground and formed a man out of it. He breathed life, giving breath into his nostrils, and the man began to live. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and there he put the man and he had uh, put the man that he had formed. He made all kinds of beautiful trees grow there and produce good fruit. In the middle of the garden stood the tree that gives life and the tree that gives knowledge of what is good and what is bad. A stream flowed in Eden and watered the garden. Beyond Eden it divided into four rivers. The first river is the Pishon. That's the other thing. There are going to be some things that I need to pronounce, and I'm gonna pr I'll pronounce them as best I can, but there's only so much that I know. Uh, the first river is Pishon. It flows around the country of Havilah. Pure gold is found there, and also rare perfume and precious stones. The second river is the, Gih the Gihon. It flows around the country of Cush. The third river 
is Tigris. Tigris, which fl uh, oh no, Tigris, sorry, which flows east of Assyria, and the fourth river is the Euphrates. Then the Lord God placed the man in the garden of Eden to cultivate it and guard it. He told him, You may eat the fruit of any tree in the garden, except the tree that gives knowledge of what is good and what is bad. You must not eat the, fr the fruit of that tree. If you do, you will die the same day. Then the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to live alone. I will make a suitable companion to help him. So he took some soil from the ground and formed all the animals and all the birds. Then he brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And that is how they all got their names. So the man named all the birds and all the animals, but, none, uh, but not one of them was a suitable companion to help him. Then the Lord God made the man fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the flesh. He formed a woman out of the rib and brought her to him. Then the man said, At last, here is one of my own kind, bone taken from my bone, and flesh from my flesh. Woman is her name, because she was taken out of man. What, that is why a man leaves his father and mother, and is united with his wife, and they become one. The man and the woman were both naked, but they were not embarrassed. The Disobedience of Man Chapter 3 Now the snake was the most cunning animal that the Lord God had made. The snake asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat fruit from any tree in the garden? We may not eat the fruit of any tree in the garden, the woman answered, except the tree in the middle of it. Um, oh, we may eat the fruit of any tree in the garden, the woman answered, except the tree in the middle of it. God told us not to eat the fruit of that tree or even touch it. If we do, we will die. The snake replied, That's not true. You will not die. God said that because he knows that when you eat it, you will be like God and know what is good and what is bad. The woman saw how beautiful the tree was and how good its fruit would be to eat, and she thought how wonderful it would be to become wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband, and he also ate it. As soon as they had eaten it, they were given understanding and realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and covered themselves. I, I'm sorry, I forgot to go over uh, chapter 2. Chapter 2 is just talk about God created man, man named animals, and then God created woman out of man. Um, and it was kind of you know, blissful, and they were just gardeners. Um, so, yeah, chapter 2, pretty, again, pretty straightforward. Um, <clears throat> that evening they heard the Lord God walking in the garden, and they hid from him among the trees. But the Lord God called out to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden. I was afraid and hid from you because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat the fruit that I told you not to eat? The man answered, the woman you put here with me gave me the fruit, and I ate it. The Lord God asked the woman, Why did you do this? She replied, The snake tricked me into eating it. God pronounces judgment. Then the Lord God said to the snake, You will be punished for this. You alone of all the animals must bear this curse. From now on you will crawl on your belly, and you will have to eat dust as long as you live. I will make you and the woman hate each other. Her offspring and yours will always be enemies. Her offspring will crush your head and you will bite their heel. And he said to the woman, I will increase your trouble in pregnancy and your pain in giving birth. In spite of this, you will still have desire for your husband, yet you will be subject to him. And he said to the man, You listened to your wife and ate the fruit which I told you not to eat. Because of what you have done, the ground will be under a curse. You will have to work hard all your life to make it produce enough for you. It will produce weeds and thorns, and you will have to eat wild plants. You will have to work hard and sweat to make the soil produce anything until you go back to the soil. My cat's in the way right now. Ah! You will have to work hard and sweat to make the soil produce anything until you go back to the soil from which you were formed. And you were made from... Uh, you were made from soil, and you will become soil again. 
Adam named his wife Eve, because she was the mother of all human beings. And the Lord God made clothes out of animal skins for Adam and his wife, and he clothed them. Adam and Eve are sent out of the garden. Then the Lord God said, Now the man has become like one of us, and has knowledge of what is good and what is bad. He must not be allowed to take fruit from the tree that gives life, eat it, and live forever. So the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden, and made him cultivate the soil from which he had been formed. Then at the east side of the garden he put living creatures and a flaming sword, which turned in all directions. This was to keep any one from coming near the tree that gives life. So, chapter 3, the snake ends up tricking um, Eve into eating the apple, and then she offers it to her husband, which, that kind of confuses me, um, because I, it just doesn't seem to make sense to me that you know she would just offer it to the husband, I, I don't know. And and he shouldn't have taken it, um, but ah, uh, um, so yeah, they um, snake tricks the woman, and the woman kind of pulls the man down with her, and then uh, they they don't realize till then about them being naked, and that that kind of that almost confuses me. But I guess I get it. Um, it just it it seems odd. Like you know, fr from a more comical aspect, you think you you would think like, wouldn't how how would they not know that they're naked? I mean, th you you think you know that draft would be a bit revealing of that fact. But um, I guess apparently not so much because. Nakedness is seen as bad, I guess. I I don't really know. Um, so God passes judgment. Um, about the snake, I, I'm noticing there are things that are not quite mentioned or worded the same as other versions that I've read. Um, but there are some versions of the Bible and some people who think that um, the, the devil was actually possessing the snake. Um, say, Lu uh, Lucifer um, is what I'll be referring to the devil as mainly, um, at least when I'm talking about him. Uh, they think that Lucifer possessed the snake and then God punished the snake because it was, um, like, because it didn't resist. I, I don't know. There, there are various views on that. So that's why snake, like, basically, I guess the snake was a lizard before, and then God's like, nope, you lose your limbs, you have to crawl on the ground. And that's why people don't like snakes. So India Jones has now been explained to you all, or at least his phobia. Um, so now women have to suffer pain with their pregnancy, and we all have to work hard to mine the uh to dig up food out of the ground. It's not something that comes easy, which apparently it did before. And then God cast them out, and uh, according to this, he placed animals and a flaming sword to guard the Garden of Eden, which kind of makes you wonder why no one has seen it. Where the heck is that flaming sword? Um, unless there's something about uh, being transdimensional and the flaming sword is actually the sun, and the Garden of Eden is in the, Eden is in the sun. Plot twist to life. Um, so that was three chapters, and I'm going to stop it there. Um, so that is the main gist of um, that most people know of Genesis. You know, God took seven days and created basically the universe, um, at least Earth, and then created Adam and Eve. They ate from the apple of... Um, the, the knowledge of good and evil, um, which is strange that it phrases it good and bad in here, but that's a choice. Um, and then God cast them out because they were disobedient. And notice how um, th this is something that strikes with me. God doesn't punish them. They don't 
die immediately, like he says will be the consequence. No, they sewed fig leaves over themselves to hide their nakedness. And, and, and God says, who told you you're naked? Uh, it, so, I guess they didn't realize what nakedness was. Um, but instead of, like, killing them, he only cast them out, and of course the, the pain and such. But he, um, let me see if I find, if I can find it quickly, um, uh, where, I, th I thought it was in here. Um, well, um, what, what's in here, but I can't find it at the moment, um, is God actually killed some of the animals and made clothing for man and and that's that, that's the kind of that's one of the traits of um god that i like that you know when we screw up he doesn't you know he doesn't like uber punish us um at least not all of the time there are some cases that we'll get to later on but he's a merciful and forgiving god so even when we mess up he's still looking out for our good you know, I, I treat God very much like a father, whereas some people treat God like an like like a ruler. And I don't think God rules us. I think he parents us. It's just that comparatively we never mature past being children. In in, in my opinion, we are all children in God's eyes and he is the father to us all so it's not really like he's a ruler so much he is um but i don't see god as a ruler i see him as a father one who i fear and one who i respect in the utmost amount so yeah first three chapters of the bible genesis and yeah so next time i'll probably get through maybe four ish um, it'll be about three or four chapters per session. And yeah, um, so that's, that's basically how things will go. And if you have any comments or ideas on that matter, then feel free to put them in the comments and also say hello to, to meow, meow, say hello to Nicodemus. He's is adorable. Anyway, I'm wasting time now. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Like and favorite if you enjoyed, and subscribe to become a VIP today. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day.